How are you doing? Welcome to Cooking with Joss. We are going to make pasta today. Simple, easy, delicious, comfort food. How's everyone doing? Right, I don't know exactly how to make this, but we're gonna work this out together. I have made it once before, but I can't really remember what I did. I kind of can. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna roll with it. So right now I have pasta on the boil. I should have penne pasta. That would be the best thing to have with this. Um, but I've got these little shells, but they're fine. These little shells are fine. It's not gonna be the same. Now I'll tell you, this is what I've got, these little guys. Um, I will tell you where I got the inspiration for this dish. And I'm kind of trying to completely steal it, <laughs> but I don't have the actual ingredients to do that, so I'm making it up. But I went to this restaurant, and it's a chain restaurant, and I know people say, well, it's not very posh, la la la. I absolutely love it, it's my favorite. It's called Buca de Beppo, and it, I think there's a bunch of, there's one in New York, there's one in LA. Um, I think they're just dotted around, and it's a family style Italian restaurant. So everything you order comes in dishes, like massive, and they give you little plates, and you can just share it with your little team of people that you have. And this pasta dish is just like, I just love it. Um, it usually comes with chicken, but I ask for it without, and they make it for me sweetly, kind of lovely, without the chicken. Um, so we're just gonna ignore that part of the recipe, and we're going to figure out how this happens. I remember once I asked the lady how it was made, and I remember white wine was involved. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna roll with it. Hi everyone, hi Sophie, hi James, hello gorgeous, hi Paolo, hi Danielle, how are you all doing? Hey Ash. How's it going? Looks like it's light there. I'm guessing it's not the UK. No, nope, it's not the UK, darling. It's a beautiful day outside. Nice and sunny here in Tennessee. I'm not very good at the accent yet. Let me, let me work on that. <laughs> Hi, Gemma. How are you doing? Right, so what is in this lovely pasta dish? Artichokes, which I've bought from the shop. Sun-dried tomatoes garlic, butter, cheese. I feel like I probably should have um, Parmesan cheese for this, but this is what I got. Cheddar. A little bit of milk. If I had cream, I would use cream, but I don't, so we're doing a bit of milk. Um, a little bit of flour to thicken up the sauce, and some peas. Oh, and white wine, like a cup of white wine, just to cook the sauce. So we're gonna try. I hope it tastes the same. And I'll probably put some Italian spice, not spices, um, herbs in it. Hang on, do I have any? Yeah. God, I must do. I've got so many there. Right. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, you've got your pasta on the boil. However many people you're serving, just like figure it out. Um, I'm going to do enough for me and Cody and probably some. So, I don't think Violet's going to have any yet. She hasn't figured out chewing. She's more of a milk girl right now. <laughs> so how many cloves of garlic should we do? Should we make it very garlicky? Should we do three cloves of garlic? Hi Shane, how are you doing? Looking healthy and wonderful. Ah, oh, thank you darling. Thank you very much. Got my summer dress on today. My mum bought me this dress. It's a nursing dress, so you just kind of lift this up and then shove the baby on, it's great. Brilliant, love it. I love all the things that they make nowadays to make life easier. It's brilliant, isn't it? Okay, so we've got, let's do three garlic cloves. So my mum went home. That's sad, isn't it? I'll see her in a few months because I'm going to go home too. Um, but yeah, she's back home now. So no more, no more cooking with Joss and Wendy. Not for the minute anyway. She made me laugh so much. Oh my goodness me. I think she made you guys laugh as well. <laughs> Gosh, she's hilarious. She gets her wine on the go and that's it, she's off. <laughs> Making jokes left, right and centre. Okay, so I'm cutting this garlic nice and small. And we're chopping. 
So I've been trying to make up some songs for Violet. Do you know what I realised? I think Violet likes like good music. I kind of sing a little like nursery rhymes and stuff, and she's like, whatever, Mum. Don't don't send me that shit. And then we'll put on Via Condias, and she's all like, oh yeah, loves it, stops her crying. I put on Spanish guitar music, and she's just like in awe of it. Piano, she loves all that. She loves instrumentals, actually. She doesn't really want to hear me sing, which is quite annoying. <laughs> ah, God, I love it. Yep, she prefers to hear Daddy sing over me, I think. <laughs> I found some really nice, like, soft little lullabies, actually, that she really likes. That one from Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? That I posted the other day. That really soft. Go to sleep, you little baby. Go to sleep, you little baby. Mama's gonna sway, daddy's gonna pray. Blah, blah, do the blah, blah, blah. Da. I try and sing it really quiet like that. It's hard for me though, I'm used to singing like, mm. so yeah, I've got to find a new, a baby way of singing. Yeah, that's what I'm working on. Okay, cut my garlic. Well, let's cut these. No problem. Uh, oh, no. I will not ask Holly. No. <sighs> I am woman, hear me roar, with numbers too hard to ignore. And I can open up this jar on my own. Chokes in the garden this year. Look at that, it's huge, isn't it? So we don't want it that huge. <laughs> we want to cut them down so nice little bite sized pieces. Oh, I love these, they're so nice. They smell good. Right, so I've cut them like, so they're like this big. Can you kind of tell? And they're gonna fall apart a little. Oh, that's too big, see? That's too big. You don't want like this massive mouthful. I don't think that's good in this type of dish. I don't think so. I think you want it all to just kind of, I don't know, just go together. It should just kind of roll together and not have one thing that's like overpowering. There you go. This looks good. See that little stem? Oh yeah, that's going to be good. This little guy, nice skin, kind of all falling apart. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. Stick it up in the jumper, very nice. Right, how's everyone doing? Hi, Assy. Hi, Simon. Hammer with the bottom of a spoon all round. It really works. Oh, the bottom of the spoon, like around the edge. Like that. I normally run it under hot water if I really get in a bind. And then, I don't know, somehow it like loosens. It's so annoying. I find it very frustrating that my hands don't have that strong grip. But you know what, I did it in the end. It's all good, no big drama. I can open a bloody tin or a can or a jar. What the hell am I talking about? Okay, sorry, I'm just dealing with the pasta over here, which I've, oh, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hang on, have I overcooked it? No, I need two more minutes on that thing. Two more minutes on the pasta. And then we're gonna drain it and pop it to one side. Right, so that guy's there. Now, now, um, we're gonna have this drama again. With the jar. Oh no, we're not, because I've already opened this jar. This is not a new one. 
sun-dried tomatoes. Mmm, 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 so good. Oh, shit. Oh, yes, that was easy. That was easy. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, now, how are you guys doing? Let me get this little, get that. Let me see, how big are you? Oh, I think this, these are good size. Yes, lovely, lovely, lovely. I would say, do about a cup of each. Look at that, that's a perfect size. Yum. Mm -mm. Bite size. Okay, so, I'm gonna treat this kind of like I would do mac and cheese in a way, but not so heavy. I want it to be a little bit lighter than that, but I'm gonna make like some version of a roux. So I'll do the garlic, I'll cook that in butter. Mm, should I put those in? I'll put a little bit of flour in. Mustard, no, no, I'm not gonna use mustard today. I'll put a little bit of flour in, but not too much. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of milk in. No, I feel like I should put these little buggers in. No, I'm not going to. Hang on, let me think about this. Garlic in with the butter, with the thingy, and then that's going to be nice. And then I think I'm going to put the sun dried tomatoes in with the garlic. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Roll with me on this one. Okay, it's going to be fine. Now, sh have I got the wrong bloody. I think I've got the wrong thing. Here we go. Welcome to my hob. Okay, are you guys done? Have a few more minutes. How's everybody? Hi Justin. How you doing? Hi Giuseppe. How's it going? Hi Mario. Right, so anyway, so I found this recipe. Um, well, I don't know the actual recipe, but I tasted what I'm trying to do here, what I think this may be, um, in a restaurant called Buca di Beppo. So if anybody works in that restaurant, or know somebody that does, that would like to send me the actual recipe, that would be great because I do really like it and I'm trying to recreate it here and I have no idea what to do. Um, yeah, but I think, I think we're going in the right direction. Okay, garlic. Turn you bugger on. One day we're gonna do a cooking with Joss and you're going to see that I've got a brand new gas hob. But right now, no. We're sticking with this bastard thing that keeps turning itself off every five minutes. Oh, so annoying. Right. That's fine. That's fine. Last night, this is not the Hobbs fault. This is my fault. Shoddy workman blames his tools. <laughs> Last night, I made the Thai curry that um, we made, I don't know, maybe it was a few weeks ago. Um, Simon Rimmer's Thai curry again. It was requested again because Cody loved it so much. So I made it again and I did this rice. I totally forgot about it. I didn't realize how hot. I turned the oven down, I turned it down to like five, but it was acting like it was still on 10. And um, yeah, I almost burnt the bloody house down again. Yeah, I ruined one of my pans. <laughs> oh dear, it smoked out the kitchen, it was terrible. Oh God, hi Lisa, how are you doing? Hello Mario again, I see you there. I don't know if it's the same one. But hello, glad to see you, even if I don't follow your fast words. Oh, I'm sorry, Manu. I talk too quickly, don't I? I've been told that once before. Okay, I think we can do something good with that now. Right. Off. Okay. Draining. Draining, draining, draining. guys just to make sure it doesn't stick and I I don't get annoyed with it I do I really hate it when it sticks right a little bit of olive oil on that I'm gonna cook you guys in there are you hot are you good I don't know okay right should I do olive oil or butter I feel like maybe a bit of both I don't know 
I'm going to get better. Yep. I think I should always get better when, when faced with such a, such a question. When in doubt, add more butter. <laughs> oh dear. Right, how much butter you say? Hmm. Um, that looks like half a stick, which is, actually I do a bit more. Should I do a bit more? Oh no. Okay, yeah. half of that. Yeah. Split the difference. Right. That is... Oh, God. What are you? You are a whole thingy thing of, of butter, which is eight ounces. This was probably... Oh, if it was eight ounces... Mm, I think I put probably two ounces in. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, that's how much I've used. This much. Oh, fuck, I'm crap at this. Okay. Right, so that's cooking nice. Now we're going to put our lovely garlic, which is delicious always. We love garlic. Who doesn't love garlic? Put our lovely, lovely garlic into the butter. Yum, yum, yum. And I'm going to put sun-dried tomatoes in. Because I just like, I just kind of want them to do their thing a little bit. Yes, I want them to do their thing. And I don't think we need to cook the artichokes so much. So I'm going to leave those out. I wonder if this is how it's done. I doubt it. Oh, really oily. I'm like I'm putting oil all over the place. Oh, this looks good. Oh, it already smells good because of the garlic. Oof. Oh, yes. Okay. So I'm going to cook that for like two minutes. Then I'll put a little bit of flour and then a little bit of wine. Yes. And then a bit of milk at the end just to bring the creaminess in. I wish there was cream, but there isn't cream. We're just going to roll with it. It's going to be fine. And then we're going to mix in everything else. And then we're going to put the pasta in and, oh, it's going to be good. It's going to be bloody delicious, actually. Oh, look. Just go suck it. Thank you for sharing your day with us. Just go suck it. What a lovely name. What a delightful name. <laughs> I bet you're sweet. You're either very sweet or very funny. I imagine you're pretty funny. I need to like look up your profile now. I will be looking. Oh yes, I will. Hi Graham. Can I eat that now? Ah, too much butter. I know, but the butter's going to be good. Just trust me. I'll let you know if at the end it's too much butter. It won't be. It really won't be. Okay. Oh yes, yes, yes. Oh, it smells so good. Yes, I'm glad I did the tomatoes at the same time. That was a good idea. All right. I know some people are watching thinking, no, Joss, that's not a good idea. You totally fucked it up. Right, no. Okay. Right, a little bit of flour. How much flour, you say? Hmm, I don't know. Just a little smattering. Let's say we've done... Right, that's probably about... Not very much. That's probably like, let's say tablespoon. Okay. Probably a tablespoon. We just need this to thicken things. Mm, okay. Ooh. Mm, okay. Who knows? Okay. Now... Oh yeah, the wine is doing a thing, cooking it off, making loveliness. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, it's turning. Oh my God. Smells very winey. I don't know if I'm ruining this. Jesus. This is probably a bad idea. No, it's actually co it's going okay. Fucking hell. Okay. Yep. very much wine in because I'm getting nervous. I'm gonna go with milk because oh no should I do the milk yeah I do the milk okay a little bit of milk 
Yeah, that's making me feel better because I trust the colour of it better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much better. I think the wine should have gone second. Oh, yeah, no, this is good. Mm -hmm. Mixing, mixing, mixing. Mixing. More. I need more. Still make, I'll figure out how much I'm doing in a minute. So I think we're doing... This is starting to look good. It's definitely thick. Yep. I don't know if I need more flour. It's hard to know. Feeling it out. I'm feeling it out. It looks really orange. It's because of those bloody tomatoes. Should I have done that? Well, I don't know. Maybe I did put in too much butter. Oh my God, I'm questioning myself too much. This is very stressful. Oh, I should have tested this before I did this in front of all of you guys. Wine before milk. Is that the right thing, Erin? I don't know. I've done it now, haven't I? Wine before milk it was. Oh, look. I found the recipe. You are doing great. Penne San Remo. Yes. That's, I think that's what it was called. Oh, where'd you find it? Online. How stupid of me. Why didn't I just look? There I was thinking, oh, I can't remember. Okay. Okay, I'm doing good. Well, then tell me what I do next. Okay. Okay, so I've put the milk in. I feel like there should be more, a little bit more flour. Is it too late? Is it too late? I think it's too late. Here we go. Once I had so much, it went to glue. Oh, no, we don't want that. Um, <laughs> hi, Anne. <laughs> okay, right. I don't know what's going on here. I'm not putting in any more um, flour because I just don't want to do that. I'm going to put in the artichokes. Woo! Maybe that's too many. Hang on. Oh my God, no. That's good. That's going to be bloody delicious. I can feel it now. Okay. Oh, this is, this is looking nice. Okay. Maybe, what do you think? Oh, salt. Definitely salt. Pepper, definitely. A good, a good amount of pepper. Probably two little zhuzhes of salt. Zhuzhes. Oh God, that looks good. A bit more wine. I put more wine in. It's going in. Oh my God, poor Joe. How the hell is he gonna know how much to put in? Whoa, send me that recipe that you found. <laughs> Okay, this is looking good. Right, now, should we put a little bit of this in to make it a bit spicy? Yeah. Okay, little bit of pepper thingies. Red peppers. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Um, what we need is to turn this down. Turn it down, Joss. What are you doing? Okay, nope, we don't want that. What I need is like basil, Parsley, yeah, a bit of parsley. I need um, oregano, but I can't find it. Okay, I don't have oregano, I've got lots of parsley. A little bit of basil. Oh my God. Woo! And I think that is good. Oh, it looks nice. Peas. Some peas. Cody's favourite food in the world. Peas. I don't know why he likes them so much, but he does. I mean, I like them. But he really likes them. He had peas in everything. Okay. Okay. This actually looks nice. wine have we actually used? Don't think we've used very much. It is a white wine sauce after all, I think. Jeez. Okay. Well, the wine's supposed to cook off, isn't it? So, I think it will. And then we'll put some cheese in and life will be good. It will be yum. Never fear. Just is here. With her amazing culinary abilities. Not so much, but you know, 
We try, we try as we might. Right, Jamelia, hello. So funny, jet lag was in my shower concert song this morning. <laughs> ah! I got jet lag and I never even left the ground. And it's like that every time you come around. Oh, I'm so hungover. I know I'm changing melody, sorry. How annoying. How annoying. Okay, I'm grating the cheese over here. Um, funny you mentioned jet lag. The chap that um, I co-wrote that song with bought me these flowers, which I got in the post. Aren't they lovely? They're for Violet. Aren't they so sweet? These are from Johnny Shorten. The other guy that wrote that song was Connor Reeves. I was about 14, so I really didn't do much. I just kind of sat there talking about you know, who I lusted after. <laughs> Giving Connor inspiration for the words, really. Silly. But yeah, they really did teach me how to write as a youngster. Definitely, those sessions were, well, the reason why I write songs, I think, today. Little handful of cheese, which I think we should probably do more of. Yep, a little bit more cheese. And then we can put in the pasta and then we will be finished and it will be delicious. I hope. Yep, so what have we done? God, what have we done? We have done two ounces of butter, three cloves of garlic, depending on how big your cloves are, you can work that out. Um, a handful of sun-dried tomatoes, um, cook that off, a little bit of flour, maybe that was like a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons, and then you put in your wine, mix it up, it's going to get a little bit thick, put in some milk, try and keep it nice and gooey and lovely, not too thick or lumpy and disgusting, and then put in the chopped artichokes, mix that up nice. Add some more of whatever you think. Salt and pepper, very important. Lots of pepper, nice. Um, some basil, some parsley. If I had oregano, I would pop some of that in, but I don't. Um, oh, and then put the peas in. And then a few handfuls of cheese. I'm putting in cheddar, but I feel like it would have been parmesan. If you know, only because it's Italian and, oh, right, oh, look at this. This actually looks good, smells good. I think it's good. You see, this is good. Oh, the cheese just makes it like, oh, yum. So I suppose if you want to do a vegan version, I'm sure you can. You can use olive oil instead of butter and you can um, use vegan cheese, which there's loads of now, and you can use oat milk which is nice and creamy. Yeah, you can totally do it. Okay, pasta. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Plop. Mix it around. Oh yeah, this looks good. Okay, now whether it's gonna taste good or not, I don't know, but this looks good to me. God, I've made way too much, haven't I? <laughs> oh yeah. Do you know what? I love artichokes. I really do. They're beautiful as well. If you plant them in the garden, you eat some, but you can let them go to seed, or, or go over, as it were, and they turn into this beautiful, beautiful flower. It's gorgeous. Really, really, really beautiful. Just Google image it, and you'll see how lovely they are. They are really lovely. Okay, shall we try it? I think we should. Right, we'll, we'll pop it in a bowl. Should we put it in a bowl? Yeah, let's put some in. And try it. Oh God, I hope it tastes all right. I haven't tried it. And um, I probably should have before I'm putting it in a bowl. You should always try your food. Ooh. Yeah, this looks nice. What do you think? Okay, hang on. I'm getting myself a little 
fork. Cody's up there working, so he won't come down to try it. But I'll take it up to him. Okay, right. Hi, Jane. Oh, thank you. Okay, you're watching it in the bath. Hi, Martin. Right, try this when you get out the bath. I don't know what time it is over there. Probably a bit late, but it's all right. Pasta late at night's yum. Mm. Okay. Pasta. We want the peas. Oh, God. How do I get it all? I think I got it all. Mmm. I think I need more pepper. It's good, though. Mmm. Yeah, pepper. Let's try it. Mm -mm -mm. There you are. Yeah, more pepper. That's important. So, I don't really know how to make this dish. And there are probably better recipes online, but this is my kind of guess. Okay, probably a bit too much pepper there, but whatever. Let's try it again. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Do I hear my baby? I hear my baby. I must go. Mm. Just right. Lots more pepper. Don't hold back. Go for it. And probably look it up. Buca de Beppo. Yummy artichoke tomato thing. And it is good. You'll find it. And it, it has chicken in it. But just mug that off. If you're not interested in chicken. If you're interested in chicken, don't mug it off. But yeah, so that's it. That's all we have for this Sunday's Cooking with Joss. Sorry, it's not as funny without my mum. I miss my mum. God. Where are you, mother? She's probably not even watching. <laughs> probably in her house right now, drinking red wine, having a lovely time. Anyway, take care.